My name is Brett Kennedy. I'm a roboticist here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Looking at the BB-8 droid, I, I would have to say that the physics, it doesn't follow particularly well. Trying to roll up and over anything is extremely difficult. If you only have one wheel, you're sort of stuck. And if you don't have enough height, it, the physics just doesn't work out. So it's very neat, I mean, you know, this is a you know, nice flat ground that it was working on there. I mean, if you can imagine rolling a soccer ball along it, that's a good surface for it, but how many places do you think that you've got enough flat ground that you can actually roll a soccer ball? But it looks cool. The thing that's closest to my heart is actually the R2-D2, because it's this engineered droid that's there to fix things. Hello. We can build an R2 today, and you know, a lot of what it does is perfectly possible with what we have. Even when they're shooting these scenes, they're actually creating a semi-robotic system to do that in the first place. C-3PO is also strangely close because if you married the capabilities of our humanoid systems with what you can get out of your phone today, marrying the two together shouldn't be particularly difficult. There are even some humanoid systems that we have today that can outperform a C-3PO system. We're doomed. Just to pick NASA's examples, both the, the Robonaut and the, the Valkyrie robots, I would say today are better robots than C-3PO is. One thing he does do that we don't do very well with our, our robots is he actually has a, a flexibility in his spine. They're just things that human technology has trouble emulating in the biological world. I'm going to regret this. We're often comparing what we do to 3PO and R2-D2, and it's in some ways unfair to both parties. They're not storytelling tools, and they're not characters. Uh, you know, I feel as a roboticist, and particularly what I'm interested in, is best achieved when people stop thinking about them as robots, and they start thinking about them as solutions to problems. Wonderful! We are now a part of the tribe. <laughs>